All right, everyone, I am in rural Texas. Let me show you on the map. We are uh, east of Dallas. That's right, you heard me say we. I have my daughter with me today. Hello. <laughs> my daughter, Audrey. It's uh, your birthday today, huh? It is. I'm the big 2-5. Yep, Audrey turns 25 years old today. So we're gonna hang out today as father and daughter on her birthday. She thought she was gonna get birthday cake and have fun hanging out with all her friends, but nope. She stuck with dad today. <laughs> <laughs> as we explore some towns. We are in the town of Wills Point. A little small town of 3,700 people. Um, let me get past this light and then we'll head into downtown and I'll tell you more. All right, as we head into Wills Point, I'll tell you a little bit about it. First thing you notice, well, aside from that right there in the middle, I forget what that's called. I gotta look that up. But uh, are these roads, these brick roads. They were built in 1922. And uh, they laid down a layer of concrete, then a layer of sand, put these bricks in over 100 years ago. And uh, they are here to this day. Anyway, I think we're going to get out on foot. What do you think, hon? I'm in. You want to get out on foot? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get out on foot and uh, explore the place. What do you think? I'm in. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> now, Audrey and I have a history here, don't we? We do. What did we decide? Was it 15 or 16 years ago? Yeah, 16 years <laughs> ago, we filmed a low-budget horror film here called Bubba's Chili Parlor. Yeah. I wrote and directed it. And a local in town, he had a haunted house right here. <laughs> he helped us a lot. He did a lot of he our... He really did, yeah. <laughs> our monster effects and blood effects. Um, but I think he has passed away, right? Did I you see that on Facebook? I think that's the consensus, yeah. Yeah, this was the place here. Uh, it's abandoned, it looks like. Yeah. It's all empty now. That used to be a haunted house. <laughs> you see inside there? Crazy, huh? Oh yeah, that's totally it though. Yeah, it was a pretty popular place too. Yeah. Anyway, well, let's take a walk downtown. I'll tell you about it a little bit as we look around. Uh, the per capita income here is 25200 That's $485 a week. You know what that means, per capita? Yeah, per person. No, well, it's per person, including children. Well, yeah. It's what every person on this town lives on. A lot of people think it's just the income of people making money. It's not. Uh, and then the median household income is 44200 That's 850 a week. What that means is that half the people make more than 44200 and half the people make less. And of course, that's everybody in the house uh, 15 years and older who makes income combined. So that's 850 a week here. Incomes are pretty low, but the uh, cost of living here is very low. Median household or median home values are 91,000. Anyway, looks like they're raising money for a local soccer team. Wow. So uh, I have some cash. I'm gonna give them some money. What do you think? I think so. All right, daughter just gave him some money. Give him five bucks, sure the five did. spot. Well, let's see a few more stats about the town as we look around. Crime is very low, 11 per, 11 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 23. Now, violent crime is even lower, five incidents per 1,000. I did the breakdown. All five of those crimes last year uh, were assault. What do you think? Probably bar fights? I would say probably bar fights. Yeah, they had zero robberies, zero rapes, zero murders. Five assaults. Wills Point, 1873. Wills Point was named after a guy named William Wills. 
Had the first house here in 1848. He's buried here too. A few other uh, stats about the town. Median age is 34. I bet that Mexican food there is really good. What do you think? I know. Well, that's what I was saying is there's one down the street. I bet they're competing. Could be. Um, let me see. Let's do the gender breakdown. 55% female, 45% male. 15% of those females are widowed. So what does that tell you? Aging population? Huh? Aging population? Aging population and, uh, of course, the women are out living the men. See where it says Bluebird Cafe? Mm-hmm. Wills Point is the bluebird capital of Texas. That is an official state designation. I actually didn't know that. Yeah. Wills Point also calls itself the gateway to East Texas. So there's that. It's a quaint little downtown though, isn't it? I know. It's a little bit quieter here. Today is Sunday, April 30, your birthday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, it's about 11 in the morning, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's a lovely day here in Texas. I know, and it's nice to see it lively. They have the original cabin that Wills lived in, William Wills, the founder of the town. I'm trying to find that. Oh, is that the theater? There it is. Yeah, I was looking for this too. This is the old Majestic Theater built in 1926. Um, sadly, it's not open. It's super cute though. Theaters, old theaters are almost always one of the most beautiful uh, buildings in each town I visit, these rural towns. Yeah. Anyway, all right, let's see if we can find that cabin. There's an old caboose. It's one of the town's landmarks. It's been here since 1990. Anyway, we're going to head into this main part of downtown again. Let me tell you the uh, race breakdown first. The town is 62% white, 18% black, 17% Hispanic, 3% mixed. It's a pretty diverse town. Yeah. This is the Bruce and Human Drugstore. Uh, built in 1879. Built by that family and that same family owns it to this day. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it looks like it's got all sorts of stuff in there. Yeah, it's closed today. It's Sunday, but... Anyway, we think we found the uh, cabin, so we're going to head there now. Now, this is First Christian Church. It has been here since 1886. Let's see what the placard says. First Christian Church of Wills Point, founded 1882. They met at the Presbyterian Church, and a cotton gin pond north of town was used for baptisms. This church building was erected in 1886. Um, we just talked to a lady walking in. She says we can see the inside. Should we do that? We gotta be quiet for the service. Yeah, be very quiet. A little uh, window air conditioner there. Well, let's see. Let's see what's going on inside here. Be quiet. Oh yeah, they're having a service. Oh. All right, we're not going to bother them while they're having a service. <laughs> anyway, I thought you said they were getting ready to have their service. Well, it looks like 11 a.m. It's a little after 11. <laughs> oh. All right, well, there you go. Now, I told you earlier, William Wheels... Whoa! Train! That looks like a passenger train. It is. I'm surprised to see a passenger train. I am too. I wonder wow. where they're coming from. Anyway, uh, this cabin was his cabin from 1848. Can we go in here? I think we can. Huh? I guess we'll find out. You what? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we're in now. <laughs> Pioneer home. Mr. and Mrs. William Wills, uh, first settlers of Wills Point, built this home, which uh, gave the town its name. It was restored by the Women's Wednesday Book Club of Wills Point. So, can we go inside, do you think? I don't know. I always like to see the inside of 
these old places, but I don't think so. I'm seeing padlocks. Yeah. We're not allowed. What'd you say, an outhouse? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's padlocked too, though. Or is it? Can you imagine, huh? When you had to go to the bathroom, this is where you came. Absolutely not. In a place like this. It doesn't have the padlock on it, but it's got these rocks. Yeah. I don't think we can see inside. Oh, it's got a hole in it. Yeah, that's an electric meter they have inside there now. Now the cabin's got a water well around. And also a giant bee. Yeah, that is a giant bee. Uh, yeah, they've got a water well here. Filled with rocks. Not getting any water out of that. Well, it's probably better that way. Yeah. Yeah, we're real close to downtown. It's right there. So we have local pillar of the community and <laughs> S. Mike Davis here with us. Old friend. He lives in this town. <laughs> yeah, I told you guys earlier I shot a movie here. 2009? No, no. no 2007. Okay, Audrey was just a little girl then. Yeah. Audrey's one of the stars of the movie, and so is Mike. In fact, you played... Father figure to her, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> her father had disappeared. I know. I know, and she became a zombie, but a smart zombie in the movie. We walked around all over this cemetery looking for this graves. It turns out we were right next to him when we pulled up in our cars. Anyway, this is the Sweetheart gravesite, uh, quite famous. A gentleman by the name of W. M. Thompson and his bride to be Sally Presley. We're due to be married, and on the wedding day, Sally died. And, uh, let's see, that was 1881. Wow, long time ago, huh? Anyway, um, heartbroken, Mr. Thompson um, bought two plots, buried her, and swore to never marry himself. And he didn't. And a mere, gee, three years later... He died. So they are together now for eternity. And uh, a pretty famous play called Song of the Bluebird was written about them. See? How long have you lived here and you didn't even know this? The funny thing is famous just, part about Will's I Point. I just heard something about this the other day because that oh, Song did. of the Bluebird, uh, they were talking about somebody around here was going to do like a revival of it or something. Oh. For the, for the founders. Sesquicentennial uh, celebration this year. That's cool. All right, we are entering the town of Grand Saline. Population 3,200. Saline, what does that tell you about the town, Audrey? It's full of salt. <laughs> That's right. Grand Saline sits atop one of the biggest salt domes on Earth. And the town is kind of built around it. Why don't we, uh, I guess, you want to get out and take a look around? Yeah, absolutely. Let me make a drive through down, downtown here first. Tell you a couple of statistics. Uh, median age is 38. And gender breakdown is 60% female, 40% male. So there's uh, a lot less males here even. Look at that old Rexall. Oh. <laughs> that sign, you could pull that off and sell it over here in Canton nearby. Probably get several hundred dollars for that. That would go well in my man cave. Now, viewers always want to know about grocery stores in town. <clears throat> there it is, right there. They got a Brookshire's here. I feel like Brookshire's is very classic small town grocery store. It is. Yeah, a lot of these small towns have that. Well, let's see. Why don't we... Uh, We'll head back into downtown. We're going to get out on foot. A couple things to see here. They have uh, a building that is the only building in the world entirely made of salt. So, yeah, you got to see that. So we're talking about salt. Morton Salt owns this huge salt dome here, which we got to find, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we'll find it. Oh, rest assured, we will. <laughs> but. Uh, now they got a building it looks like they're renovating. It's always good to see in the downtown. 
It's pretty quiet overall though, isn't it? It definitely reminds me a lot more of Paris. Yeah, Paris, Texas, very slow downtown. Well, let's see, as we walk through, here's a few more numbers. Uh, race breakdown, 70% white, 28% Hispanic, 1% black, 1% mixed other. Per capita income, 22,600 a year, that's 435 a week. Median household income, 45,000, that's $877 a week. And with that, check out that. It's a great old mural. I know, it's like do very well maintained. When do you think Coca-Cola was sold for five cents? How long ago? Are you, are you asking me? I'm asking say, you because I don't know. Say, I'm sure some uh, someone knows who's watching. 40. 40s, you think it was five cents? Yeah. Is she right? Someone tell us in the comments. Right, all you uh, slews. I have a lot of uh, internet slews on my channel. They find out everything. <laughs> Somebody will find that out. Let's see one other stat I should tell you. Crime. Crime is low. Uh, last year, six incidents per 1,000. The U.S. average is 23, so what's that? A third, maybe less, the crime rate of the U.S. as a whole? Yeah, more like a quarter. Well, here it is, the Salt Palace. And this is it. This is, uh, yeah, this is the only building made of pure salt in the world. That's what I'm told. Uh, people have been known to lick it. <laughs> I don't think I want to lick it, do you? Huh? What do you think? It's salt. I mean, it is. Put your hand on it. It's a pillow. Like. It feels like it feels like salt. Huh? It's salt. No, it does. Yeah. So if you go like this, I'm not going to lick it. But if you just go like this, put your Ooh. tongue. That's salt, it isn't it? <laughs> That's pure salt. Wow. That is crazy. Yeah, the yeah. salt dome here in town. I was reading about it. It's got enough salt to supply the entire world for 20,000 years. So if you're wondering if uh, there's gonna be a salt shortage, don't. There's plenty. Apparently, uh, right now, Morton Salt is, the mines go down about 60 stories wow. into the ground. So that's a big, huge piece of salt right there. Welcome to Grand Saline, a national main street city. It is a quaint little downtown. Not a terrible amount of people here though. Even though it looks like they're developing sections of it. What do you think? I mean, it definitely looks like they're trying to make strides to make it more of a destination. Yeah, I think you're right. Texas Short Line Railway. It's got a caboose here. They also have this looks like an old bowl that's exactly what it is right yeah original kettle used in making salt in early days one of the original kettles wow from 1845 yeah you can tell this is that old well we we're trying to find the salt dome i don't think we can actually go see it but here's morton salt's facility right here I would guess uh, we can't go very far in here. What do you think? I would probably say not too far. I would like to see the salt. Does it look like we're going to be able to? Anyway, yeah, here's uh, Morton Salt's salt factory. It's about uh, just under a mile out of town. Oh, well, there you go. People always want to know the price of gas. VP Racing. Let's see how much their uh, gas is, shall we? 309. 309 for unleaded gas here. Well, let's see, we are driving down typical looking street here. Show you a few houses. Uh, Median home value here is 73,600. Um, just a, well, just a quiet little country town. 
I know, it's very quaint. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, and the houses are well kept. Houses are well taken care of, yeah. We're still exploring the streets of this little town. There's a lot going on in that yard, isn't there? Huh? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the mailbox, though. Yeah, the mailbox is cool. The guy out there waved at us. And they got a uh, campfire going on in this in front of this house. These kids are playing on the tramp, trampoline. It's a very happy little small town life. Yeah, I got some folks walking the street. Interesting. What's this person pushing here? You know? No. Huh? So maybe her goods? Yeah, I don't know what that is she's doing there. Looks like she's just out, out for a walk. Got some kids on their bikes. A lot of people out and about this town. I know. Well, I mean, it's nice out now, too, so that helps. Well, a lot of my videos, you never see anyone, and people comment on that, but there's a bunch of people out in this town. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, though, so that makes sense. Well, we are in Canton, Texas. This is the uh, Van Zant County Courthouse. Built in 1937. Art Deco. It's very Art Deco. Yeah. Cool looking building. Um, Canton has a claim to fame. What is Canton famous for? It's trade days. It's giant flea market. That's right. The Canton Trade Days is the largest flea market in the world. In the world. And guess what? It's this weekend. We're here for it. So that's what we'll be, or we will be doing later in the video. But right now, let's take a look at this downtown. Very quaint. Nice downtown. Uh, let's see. Here's this part of it. Let's go over to this quiet part of downtown and I'll tell the folks the statistics of the area. We see, I already said there's 4,200 people here, right? Or did I? There's 4,200 people here. Median age is 44. That's an older town. Uh, gender, 53% male, 47% female. Now that's different. It's actually pretty rare when uh, there's more males than females. Let's see, race breakdown, 90% white, or 91% white. 4% Hispanic, 4% black, 1% mixed other. Uh, per capita income, 32,500. That's 625 a week. And median household income is just shy of 51,000, which is about 980 a week. Income's here a little higher, probably because of the flea market. Uh, around 100,000 people a day come to this flea market once a month. It's for four days. So between three and 400,000 people come into this town of 4,000 once a month. That's a pretty astonishing figure. Yeah. Especially when you see how small the actual town is. Yeah, there's only 4,000 people here. It's like over that weekend becomes one of the biggest cities in Texas. <laughs> Uh, because of how many people are here for this huge flea market. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about crime. Crime here is a little higher. Uh, 20 incidents per 1,000. U.S. average is 23. But majority of that is property crime. It's 18 incidents per 1,000. Uh, which suggests that that's probably a byproduct of the flea market. Probably some theft happening. What do you think? You see theft happening. Minor yeah. theft. I was looking at the violent crime. Violent crime's low. 1.8 per 1,000. Well below the U.S. average of almost four. Here's the actual numbers. Last year they had one murder here. They had a murder here. Zero rapes, two robberies, and four assaults. What do you think of that? Hmm? Is it wrong that part of me thinks the assaults are probably uh, parking arguments with the flea market? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. 
Nothing gets people enraged like uh, a stolen parking spot. Could be. And bar fights, of course. Bar fights, of course. And we're right next to the kick and mule, you know, and it implies yeah. as such. Anyway, uh, we came here to show you guys the world's largest flea market. So we are going to do that. Right now? Right now. Okay, we are here. We have parked. We got a map. And this part is where we are. And this is... Here it is. The trade market itself, or the flea market. So, in we go. We've got some ground to cover. Yeah, we got some stuff to see here. Tasty treats. Fried dill pickles, cheese sticks, corny dog. We will be getting something to eat here shortly. Uh, it smells fantastic here. It smells like the fair, which is my favorite. Yeah, just the smell of delicious food permeates the air. It's everywhere. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Crossroads. Boy, you can really smell the food there. Yeah, you can. Um, yeah, lots of different places for food in that direction. A lot of people here. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, that very much reminds you of the fair, doesn't it? 100%, yeah. All these huge uh, places. Little shops up that way. Well, let's go see if we can find some interesting stuff. What do you think? I will almost bet that we can. Yeah. You can always find odd works of art here. This is a donkey, right? Yeah. And this is a taco. <laughs> you get the big that would look cool. And the small one for 30. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see the little one. Oh, yeah. The yeah. one over here. The little taco. <laughs> How about that? The big one. And look at this. Try picking it up. Is he heavy? Very heavy. Yeah, it's sturdy. Very heavy and for $40? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's hmm, we have to think about that. Mm -hmm. Do you need a taco for your room? Huh? Yeah. Why don't you try going to my shop? Oh, yeah, I'll take your car. It's open now every day. It's next to Motel 6. See, Highway 19, Highway 19, you go three blocks. Uh -huh. When you meet in Interstate 20 over the bridge and next to Motel, that's us. Okay, cool. Well, it appears much of this flea market is indoors. Look at all these boardwalks. Usually flea markets are all outdoors. So, here we go. Huh? So they've leveled up a bit. Well, it is hot in the summer and cold in the winter, so... Now, yeah, let's go check out. See what's in here. Furthermore, I burn. Huh? Furthermore, I burn. Yes, you do. You burn. Got an Elvis here. What am I having that? Wow, look at this place. Crazy. Right around with it? Lots of stuff. Huh? Right around with it? I put Elvis in my man cave. Oh, okay. yeah. That's where he would go. <laughs> you know, the people who supply the goods for these things, uh, most of them live on the road. They uh, pack up a trailer or truck or whatever it is with their goods, go to a flea market, is, are there for the week, and then they pack it all up and go to the next one. And that's what they do. That's their life, living on the road, okay. selling stuff at flea markets. That's really interesting, huh? What yeah. an interesting life that must be. What do you think? I think it would be. I think it sounds kind of fun. It would be, especially if you're older and your kids are grown. Yeah. You just live in your uh, yeah. live in your camper. Most of them drive campers, you know, or RVs. Yeah. And they'll pull a trailer with all their stuff. Yeah, and then they just uh, go to flea market to flea market. So these are interesting. <laughs> They're throwing up water. Look, here's a dog one. The dog one's very cute. You like that one? I do. I really yeah. do. $245. Uh, the dog one's $175. And this is a pig. He just got water coming out of his mouth. Full time. Those are interesting. This would be a fun little oddity in your yard. I come from a long line of terrifying women. Should I get you one of those? Yeah. <laughs> Well-behaved women seldom make history. Oh, well, that's true. Don't be a lady, be a legend. One dollar table. So for one dollar, you can get your choice of this rusty silverware. 
You think they're antiques? I think they're being marketed as such. You think? There's this watch. It's also a dollar. That's, That's a watch. dollar, huh? Oh. I don't think that works. Yeah, I'm sure that it does not. Interesting. I wonder if anybody paid a dollar for any of this. <laughs> I don't know if I would, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. It's all over my finger. Ugh. <laughs> it's melting. Yeah. This is the best part of flea markets. With all the random oddities. The random junk, yeah. This is where I like to hang out. Oh, look. Here's a good one for you. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Peanuts glass. Hmm. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff here. Just oddball things, you know? Yeah. I used to come to these when I was much younger, when you're a baby. Yeah. And I would spend hours just looking at all the stuff. Yeah. Old beer mug, beer stein. 50 cent each tables. That's pretty cool. 50 cents. Wow. Oh, that's old. The nutcrackers. Hmm? The nutcrackers. Yeah. Look at these watches. <laughs> 50 cents each. Yeah, they got all kinds of just random stuff here. Yeah. Look at this picture. Is that going to uh, trigger the uh, YouTube algorithm? It, it might. Naked girl. May have to censor it. I like that picture though. Yeah, that is a good picture. I might buy that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I can hear Nicole now. Wow, how long? Oh, it doesn't work. That's so sad. If that worked, it would be worth every penny of ten dollars. Yeah. But it doesn't work. You can sometimes find little, little treasures here though. That would look really nice in a kitchen somewhere. I like that. Or a mantle. Huh? This too. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Yeah. What is this? This? An Aztec. Mm hmm. Um, I don't know what you call that. It's like hmm. a. I don't know. The word escapes me. Yeah, me too. What is awesome? This? this? Thing? Yeah, look at it. That is awesome. I don't know what I would do with that. But it's cool. It is cool. It absolutely is. Look at these old Tonka trucks. Yeah. Lots of stuff here. Got some live music, it sounds like. There's a tiny little chihuahua running around. Huh? Little, oh, there he goes. What? Someone's got their little chihuahua on the loose running around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this stuff. Somebody's playing some Beatles, huh? Yeah, and it's live. I know, so I said. Yeah. Got some live music. You keep that. Somebody strumming a guitar. Oh, here's some Hot Wheels. Hmm. We'll have to take a look at these. Check out these cool Darth Vader's. I actually have this. <laughs> yeah. The original on VHS. Yeah. I just got them stuck in a box somewhere. Wondering if they'll ever be worth anything. I don't think so. Huh. Look at this. Star Wars watch. Yeah. Check out all this cool <laughs> Christmas stuff, huh? Very old. Yeah, this is real old. All this. I got a Santa very similar to that one. I've had it for years and years since before you were born. Oh, really? You know that Santa I put out? Yeah. Oh, this one right here. <laughs> they want $55 for it. I think I spent like $10 for it brand new. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you need a samurai sword? Huh? You need a samurai sword? Um, you know, I really don't have the space for one right now. But you don't? Well, think not at the moment, no. I guess I could hang it over my bed. I'm saying you could put one on the above your bed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, we are in Texas. That we are. Look at this one. It's $2,700. It's 
an antique. Yeah. Colt New Police. <laughs> That's a little 1905, yeah. That's an antique, right? 1905. That's when that was made. Thank you. That is cool. Yeah. Well, we're trying to find the entrance to the place in those restaurants. Those little uh, food shops that were there. Yeah. But we are lost. <laughs> I have no idea where we are, do you? Um, we're trying to figure out how to get back there. You do? Well, that sign over there says that the original six, which is where we parked, is that way. It's this way? Like. Over here, okay. Yeah, we're just wandering around now because we have no idea where we're at. Yeah. That's how big this place is. We have finally made it back to the entrance, or near the entrance. Yeah. This is where all the food is, or most of it is. And we're gonna grab something to eat, but we wanna get something wacky, don't we? That you can only get in a place like this. What do you think? Yeah. Audrey says she wants sausage on a stick. That sounds good to me too. It's like the best thing at anything. Well, this place looks like the place to get that, so we're gonna try it. So, Okay. Here's all the food they're cooking. Thanks, bud. That looks good, doesn't it? Is these ours? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And he's making fajitas there. Yeah, those smell really good. Some more sausage on a stick. And you're getting what? Oh, you're getting straw? Yeah. Okay. All right, you ready for some sausage on a stick? Yes. It's the best thing at these. Huh? It's the best thing at these trade days and fairs. Um, yeah. Sausage on a stick? Yeah. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Oh my god, it's hot. It is hot? Yeah, but it's I'm delicious. gonna take a bite. Here's a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. Yum. They do the fresh squeezed lemonade. Hmm? Fresh squeezed lemonade is the best. Yeah. I got fresh squeezed Coke. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Are you getting full? Uh, yeah. You look like you've had enough. I've got a couple more bites left in me. Yeah? I said I've got a couple more bites left in me. Are you going to take it back? Back home? Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Almost done with mine. We're missing a vegetable though. <laughs> it's my birthday. No, that's right. It's your birthday. No vegetables with meals today. There's a reason I didn't have breakfast this morning. It's because I wanted to be able to eat at least half of this. You've ate almost half of it. I know. I did well. You did well. You did. That was a look into the world's largest flea market. So, uh, what? Your first visit? It was my it. first visit, yeah. Anyway, uh, next video, I am heading to East St. Louis. Be looking for that one. Yeah.